Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to play Piggy McBillions. Uh, that is the current newest game in the My Vegas app over here. Really wanted to go ahead and check it out just because it was the first thing that popped up. I was going to do that the other day, but then uh, more importantly, uh, we had another counterpart to the Sassy Lassie pop-up. That was Pacific Gold. I made a video about that. You can check that out in the upper right-hand corner of the screen if you want to see how to unlock that on the OG Facebook app for uh, my Vegas there. But in the meantime though, let me go ahead and get the clicker out over here. We're going to go ahead and play a little bit of this and we're going to go ahead and play our favorite game, best games in my Vegas slots, and we're going to see if Piggy McBillions qualifies. So let's load this bad boy up and see how we do. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Alright guys, let's go ahead and see what the gimmick over here is. It looks like there's something for a bonus over here. Hopefully that can trigger in within 100 spins. Because of course, as usual, we're going to put 100 spins on the clock and then we're going to rock and roll from there. Um, let me do some maths here real quick. Oh, listen to that. Look at that old school music over there. Got some classical music here. That, that reminds me of my mom's ringtone there. So we have just shy of 7 billion chips. I feel like we should bet up for bigger prizes here. Oh, there we go. There's max chance for prizes there. For All right, we'll, we'll go ahead and call it... Uh, all right, but yeah, it looks like 6.8 million is max chance. So if we multiply that out by 100, looks like we're going to be betting 680 million. That's not a large portion of our bankroll, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable about that. So let's go ahead and put our 100 spins on the clock and then do the auto spin on your mark, get set, ready, and go. Alright, hopefully these uh, McBillions... Oh, hold up! This is already shaking over here. What happens? What's going on? Did I break the machine? Oh, okay, 20 million? Okay, so he gave me 20 million. So I guess when he pops up, he just starts pulling uh, things down over here. And it jacks up one of these meters on the side. Alright. So, uh, he's bigger now. Is this the bonus? Oh, man. Okay, okay. That's what's up. Oh, whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Two times wild now. And he puts three coins in there. And now I guess it's going to calculate 58 million. Okay. That was 78 million in one spin there. That was kind of random. Is he gonna do it again? So I guess when the uh, the pig comes up, he shakes the uh, the whole screen there. That's kind of intense. All right, all right, spinners and sharks. So at this point here, we're getting ready to decide if we're going back to Vegas anytime soon. Right now, uh, here's fact of the matter: holidays in Vegas are coming up. Here, we just had Thanksgiving. And we're coming up on uh, Christmas and New Year's pretty soon. I think New Year's is going to be pretty cool for Vegas, but it's probably going to be a little more chill than it normally is, I'm sure. Just with people uh, being on travel restrictions, you can't have people flying in. I've seen some uh, places online that are actually kind of affordable for New Year's. Uh, I mean, even it, it's places like Excalibur and Luxor and all that, but they're under $100 a night for a, uh, for a room over there for New Year's, which is very surprising for me so that'll be interesting to see uh maybe we'll talk about that this upcoming sunday on the podcast uh how much it really should be to go to vegas during the holidays because i know christmas and thanksgiving are generally pretty cheap it's just that uh oh and we got another piggy uh, mcbillion there awesome awesome Are we going to get more? Okay, so we got carrots over here. Is he going to grab that carrot? Alright, so he gets the carrot. He gets bigger. And he tosses the coin our way. Okay, now we put his hat back on. Alright, so that's it. And for some reason, that lightning... Uh, that lightning over there, that meter is full for some reason. Oh, we got a pig, we got a pig. What's he going to do? So he's going to pick up uh, one of the jackpots over there. Is he going to grab that mini jackpot too, I wonder? That's two. Oh, wait, the meter seems to correspond to him uh, grabbing things off the top over there. 
All right. Okay, cool, cool. That was another 30 million. And then does he get it? He gets a carrot? Does he want a carrot now? No, he's done. He's done. Okay. I really gotta watch this. Another 91 million. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Honestly, I think if we were still uh, spending for loyalty points, we'd be doing pretty good here. Now, if I can get him up front, I think we might be doing alright. But obviously, as you guys know, this is the slot game, and you can't control where the wilds fall. Alright, but yeah, I might see about talking about that on the podcast. I think I might have just the guy to talk to about how to get really good deals for the holiday season in Vegas. I think it'll be a really good thing. I wonder what that FS means up there, that bag over there. Oh, it's free spins! Those are probably how you get free spins. Okay, alright, I think I'm figuring this out very slowly. Slowly but surely. Alright. The bonuses aren't too bad here. I guess it's just trying to keep them consistent. Gives you something to do for the next hour as you wait for your uh, chips to go down or your loyalty points to pick up. Alright. But yeah, I think worst case scenario, we'll probably go back uh, sometime in the at towards the end of winter, start of spring or something like that. Maybe I'll redo my 30th because as you guys know, that got ruined by COVID, unfortunately. Uh, I was not able to enjoy my uh, 30th birthday to the fullest because COVID kind of slowed things down. It closed a lot of things down. And it was, it was tough to fly. It was really just not fun flying. Oh, there we go. We got one. We got one. Okay, so he's got a, he grabbed a carrot that didn't seem to affect his meter. That jumped him up, though. That made him bigger. So now, oh, okay, so now I get the two on the end. So whatever two pop up on the end, I get to keep. So he does a jump, and I take those two now. No, I do not. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. So I toss three in there. Alright, so the meter just means how many spins I get to try and win those up top. That's interesting. So those are like little mini free spins. Those are re-triggers. And the carrots just kind of jack them up a little bit. So we're hoping that we get at least one pig on the next reel over here, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's not looking like it's happening yet. I guess if you got a carrot every other reel, it'd probably be pretty awesome. Man, these are going fast here. We're already two-thirds of the way through. Interesting the way this game works, though. It is a little bit of a chip eater. Rather unfortunately. Alright, so yeah, we get to enjoy this music, this Bellagio-esque music over here. Oh, 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 hang on, do we got a pig coming down? Do we got a pig coming down? Where's he gonna land? Where's he gonna land? He's up front! Oh! What's that? He landed and he got... What's FS? Three free spins! Okay, so we got free spins. So that's in the... That's 15 in the little bag over there. And then we got a carrot. Come on, give him the carrot, give him the carrot. Oh, it took all three spins to get the carrot to drop. Oh, the carrot didn't even drop. So that's two in the bag now. So now, how do my free spins work? So I get three free spins now. So the free spins triggered. And it's gonna open the vault up. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Alright, here we go. Three free spins on the clock. Oh, and I got another pig in the middle of it? So Piggy Wild coming through, and I've got aces in the middle too. So that's pretty much an automatic win. Oh, do we get more free spins? Come on now, re-trigger! Oh, we got the free spins at 27 million. That's a re-trigger, if I ever heard it. It's another free spin. All right, and he's gonna jump again, and that's gonna give me another carrot, and another 27 million. Does he get bigger now? Yes, he does, and he takes up the whole thing. And does that refill? Oh, is it gonna drop? Is it gonna drop? No, it does not drop. Okay, that's cool. The whole back end is full. Oh, and there's another pig there! Holy snap! 
Oh, jeez, guys, look at this, look at this. Okay, so it gets bigger. Come on, free spins, re-trigger. 27 million and the free spins, that's what's up. Okay, so that's gonna move those up and see if we can get more free spins. Here we go. It's keeping us playing longer. Oh, those free spins are loose, they're ready to drop. Yep, more free spins and 34 million again. Here we go, here we go. All right, that means, man, okay. So if we get like three of them on a free spin, they're generally pretty good. So let's see if we, oh, we get, we do get another one. <laughs> and it's on those big, uh, big uh, gems over here too. So that'll be pretty great. So that's a drop. Come on, give him a, all right, so that gives him a carrot. He's gonna get a little bigger now. All right, so let's see if we can get a double drop on that. When he's big, he seems to get better drops. Okay, so that's going to take up, like, the whole screen now. So, a big jump like this. One time's wild. Come on, drop the free spin, drop the free spin. Oh! That's not bad, though. That's another 19 million. Oh, and we got the, uh, the diamonds up front. So, come on, wild. Let's go, let's go. So, he's going to do a jump. Alright, that gives us another 27 milli. Come on, do another jump. Oh, one more jump, one more jump. Knock it down. It's, this game, this game I think would be great in a real casino. I'd love to have this as a real casino game. <laughs> oh man, we're just getting them today. Alright, I think if we get three jumps on this, we can get those free spins. Come on, give it another jump. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we're out of free spins on that one. And then that counts the 3 million. Alright, so we got him on the end. And that's a lot of 10s up front, so that's not bad. So that'll definitely get us something. Oh, and we got a carrot over here. Make that carrot drop. Yes! So he's going to get bigger. He's going to take up that corner there. If we can do another big jump, that'll get us another carrot. Come on, drop the carrot. Oh, come on, drop the carrot. Yep. Yep. And that takes up the whole back lane right there, because the back lanes are what counts. Big one. There you go. Okay, cool, cool. We, we can get that mini jackpot, too. The mini is 54 million. So let's go. Let's get that mini jackpot. 54 million. Let's go. Let's go. And let's get those giant carrots now. So boom. Come on. Do another big jump. Okay. So that's one. All right. Let's see if big boy, if he can do a two. Oh, that's two. That's three. So how does that, I think that doubles it. Oh, okay, that's double wild on the 10 times. Let's go, 42 million, not bad. So we won 463,828,000 chips on that one, Spinners and Sharks. Let's keep it rolling, here we go. Last few spins. And we still gotta win like eight more times on this. I think at this point it's going to cool off. This is normally where I'd cash out in a real slot machine. But as you guys know, this is not a real slot machine. So we're going to keep playing until these 100 spins are done. Okay. And looks like we got Retiree Rhonda over here. So Retired Rhonda. I guess this is supposed to be Wonder Woman in the future when we're retired and uh, coming to Vegas. <laughs> Run that up a flagpole with her, see how much trouble I get into. Alright, let's see. And those carrots, though. The free spins on the carrots. Too strong. Alright, but yeah, Spinners and Sharks, let me know in the comment section down below. When is your next trip to Vegas planned? Are you feeling good about going to Vegas right now? Are there travel restrictions in your state? Are you even allowed to go to Vegas right now? And if you are, like, are you planning on it or are you feeling a little wary? Because I know the other day they had nearly 4,000 positive cases reported in a day of the C-19. And I'm sure for some people that's a little uh, disheartening. For some people it's a little concerning. 
um, especially if they have pre-existing conditions. Uh, I think doctors are advising against traveling if you have pre-existing conditions. And as you guys know, I agree with doctors, because doctors dedicate their lives to studying these things. They know what they're doing, so I'm going to trust a doctor if uh, their doctor's judgment is not to travel there. So, shoutouts to our doctors and nurses taking care of people in the ER. Mad shoutouts to you guys. Alright, let's see if we can get these. Let's see if we can get these both. Oh, come on, come on. We get one more. One more big jump should do it. Oh, how's that not gonna drop those? Come on now. Plus three in the money bag, though. We're getting tipped, I guess. Alright, ten spins to go, guys. There's number six coming up here, because these go fast. Not bad. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Give us a good one. Nope. Come on. Last one, last one, last big bonus. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, in the middle. So he's automatically going to get a big, uh, he's going to be a big boy automatically. Ah, dang it. Do a double jump. I thought it was going to go forward. Come on, give us a double jump right here. Oh, come on. It's going to take all three jumps. Oh, how stingy. How stingy. That was anticlimactic. Alright, we'll try the last three spins. Safety spins. Two. One. And zero. Alright guys, GG, no re on that. Well, looks like our ending balance was 7 billion, 55 million, 388,132 chips. So, as you guys know, that means it's time for me to take a break. I'm gonna do some maths over here, and of course, we're gonna count up the booty. Alright, there's Spanish and Sharks. So, we did some maths over here, and I think Piggy McBillions has earned a favorite over here. Yes, it is officially one of the best games in my Vegas slots. I did the maths on it. We started with 6,978,998,632 chips, and we ended with 7,055,388,132 chips, meaning we had a profit of 76,389,500 chips, and that leaves us with a payback percentage of 111.23%. And, you know, just getting 100% payback on a slot machine or anywhere near that is tremendous. People used to brag about having a 99% payback percentage. People used to advertise that sort of thing. So having that just in a short term over here is pretty darn good. So definitely can't beat that. We'll go ahead and call that a good one there. But, uh, yeah, let me know, guys, um, in the comment section down below. Are you planning on a trip to Vegas? Are you going to be taking advantage of the My Vegas ability to earn... Uh, loyalty points passively over here and how many loyalty points are you earning at a time actually you know what i think for my next my vegas video that might be the subject of that how many loyalty points can you earn passively so let's consider that i've actually already got that kind of in the pipe right there so we'll go ahead and consider that too but uh yeah i think that's about it for today's video all right there's spinach and sharks that just about does it for today's video if you enjoyed today's episode and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time we get back, I think we're finally going to go ahead and take a little trip report and see what Vegas was like in the seasons coming up on the holiday season here. But until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing off, and I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva. Viva Las Vegas Viva